Hello, some time ago I've made a review of really good portable headphone amplifier and uh, digital tonal converter made by XDuo. Its name was XD05. It, it became pretty popular because for affordable price it offered really good driving power, nice uh, digital tonal converter and was an uh, interesting device. And uh, after that XDuo decided to improve this uh, gadget and they released uh, another digital tonal converter with headphone amplifier and they gave predictable name XD10 but they decided to make it more funny so they give it another code name Poke and as you can see created an interesting and bright uh, box so I think it's one of the funniest boxes that I've seen in my in my history of reviewing. Its price is uh, $250, it's based on the AK4490 digital tonal converter and OP OPA1662 op amps, so pretty good device and let, now let's have a closer look. Box is fun and unusual, it's done like some book, you can open its cover, here is short manual with different information, but it's not that interesting. Of course, device itself is the most valuable content. So here it is. I will put it aside for a while. And now I need to to get to accessory set. So. With it you will have regular USB cable to use with Mac or PC or for charging. Another USB cable with micro USB, so I will show later why for it needed. Let me pull everything out. Warranty card of course. Silicon spacer. Really fun and soft if you want to use it as as a sandwich, it's a bit sticky, so you can use uh, it to stick, uh, to attach it to your source. And a few cables. So. XDuo decided to make it as universal as possible, so regular audio cable to use it as pure amplifier. And three USB cables to use it with different sources, so USB-C regular micro USB and uh, Sony cable because uh, XDuo stated few times that uh, this device is uh, is uh, created in th with the same size as uh, Sony dubs and they even have this uh, I don't know what is color it is it's something in between between blue and green Sony has player in the, in this color so you can stack it with Sony's dub and it would look really consistent with it. So let's let's see how it how it will be. It should be connected in other way, of course. So you connect it, you attach it to the device. So as you can see, all cables are made angled, and uh, that's a really good idea, which makes it pretty universal solution. So as you can see, accessory set is really nice. It's missing, of course, lightning cable, but I think it's because of Apple, uh, because of Apple uh, licensing issues. Build quality of uh, XD10 is really good. It's small, it's made of completely of aluminium, it has nice size, it's uh, pretty pocketable even if you attach some source of uh, digital signal to it. It has nice color, unusual but anyway good. It's pretty light so it's uh, really stackable. It's one of the best and if uh, digital, digital tonal converters if you're looking for something portable. There are a lot of controls, so here is on off switch input switch you can select usb or auxiliary in if you need uh, to use it as pure amplifier as for work time actually it's about seven hours when it's used as digital to analog converter and about 18 hours if you will use it as amplifier only not not superb numbers but pretty okay bass boost it's really good it's working really good adding low ultra low frequencies and gain switch i think most probably more 
waste majority of time it will be turned to the low because the peak power of this thing is 250 milliwatts for the 32 ohms load per channel and it's a really powerful device. On the front panel there is headphones output and a small screen. When we turn it on, on this screen you will see uh, Selected input, selected filter, USB mode, gain and volume, but screen is really dim. I don't think that uh, digital tonal converter really needs some bright screen. It reminds, if you remember, XDuo XD, uh, yeah, XDuo X2, it's their first uh, player. It has about the same screen. And here is volume controls and uh, filters. There are four digital filters, you can select one of them. On the back side there is uh, there are auxiliary input or output. If it uh, turned to the USB mode, it will be out, of course. And if it if it turned to the aux mode, it will be line in. USB to connect uh, to the source and separate USB for charging. Pretty wise idea to separate USBs because it uh, offers better. Uh, separation of uh, some interference and the uh, separate charge means that it won't drain your device so you just you can use thanks to this unusual connection you can use it with uh, for example apple camera connection kit it should work i didn't test but i think it should or with some on usb on the go adapter but let's make it simple here is usb c cable and there's a source I can use, for example, my Fuse X7. So we attach it, turn it on here, turn the device on itself. As you can see the caption about USB device connected and uh, it will start playback. I won't plug some headphones, but uh, I think you can believe me. It's definitely working and it's playing. So nice build quality, nice size, pretty stackable, pretty portable device and uh, it's a really good solution to use on the go. And of course about the sound. I think we need to respect the traditions and I have to plug some head, some earphones or headphones to illustrate it. Of course, better illustration will be some uh, full-size headphones with, and some probably power-hungry model, but I, I don't have one in my reach. So let's for illustration put Noble Audio Kaiser & Core. They matching the color of the digital tone of converter and looks pretty stylish. Anyway, it's just an illustration. So, in terms of sound, XDuo created uh, sound similar to their XD05 model. Pretty powerful low frequencies, really well controlled, weighty and uh, mighty mids, and uh, bit simplified treble, but still present. And for this price range, I think it's pretty acceptable. Anyway, let's uh, move from the big from bottom to the top so low frequencies are pretty linear but they have a bit uh, added uh, impact so it of course it's not in terms of uh, quantity because when bass boost is turned off uh, quantity and its frequency response is pretty linear so uh, bass has enough quantity but not too much but if you like accented lows bass boost is at your service and it adds depth because when bass boost is a bit turn is turned off it's a bit lacking depth but not too big with some bass heavy headphones or earphones you won't notice that at all but with bass boost it added depth but it's also added adding some uh, quantity so it's probably for bass head option it, bass has good resolution no actually not superb but really good nice texturing and uh, pretty powerful RAM you know you feel that this device is capable of, of, of uh, outputting 250 milliwatts without any problems absolutely so base is mighty powerful rumbling and so on and so forth but of course um, in, I'm speaking about power not in terms of uh, quantity 
but if you need an additional quantity, base boost is at your service. These are not super resolving, but they are medium in terms of resolution. If the resolution is normal, actually, you won't miss any details, but uh, this device not highlighting some micro nuances, it's not going to this, you know, nitpicking or some cr uh, critical listening, and so you will just have the nice way to meet with great instrument body with pretty realistic vocals, especially male ones, because female ones are a bit lacking of realism, but it's let's move to this when I speak about treble. Oh, and sorry, of course, I forgot some to show some examples. So, speaking about lows, let's uh, take uh, Jason Newsted solo album that is named Newsted. Really good example of uh, how Metallica should actually sound. Not that, not the music that they play now. It's more like uh, classical, heavy, hard and heavy. And I really like this album. And it's really pity that uh, Jason Newsted created uh, really created only one album in 2013, if I remember right, and that's all. But anyway, one album is better than nothing. And there is a song named "As the Crow Flies." It has really powerful um, drums and the bass line and uh, this uh, tiny, uh, so probably not tiny, but this small amplifier is really sometimes reminds me some full-size headphones ampli headphone amplifier in terms of authority. Of course, I'd like also to have a desktop class resolution, but I think it, I'm wishing too much for this small device in this price range. But still, it's pretty uh, powerful and mighty. And for the mid frequencies, as an example, let's take some classical music. It's Maurice Ravel, Bolero. I uh, listened about, I listened, I don't know, but dozens and dozens of recordings of this uh, classical track. And uh, probably the best one is uh, that recorded by Berliner Philharmonical. It's uh, uh, recorded by Herbert von, von Karajan, von Karajan, directed, conducted, yes. It's, the right word is conducted by Herbert von Karajan. And uh, I think it's the best performance uh, of this uh, masterpiece that I've heard. Of course, uh, if we be 100% serious, this is not the device for such music. Uh, you need to spend, I don't know, like a few thousand dollars and you need some high-end headphones uh, or better some speaker system to enjoy all these uh, instruments and all this uh, massive uh, big orchestra, but uh, for $250, I think I can definitely stand with it. It has uh, about average uh, staging, both in width and in depth, maybe a bit less than average in depth, but it's still pretty realistic for, for this price range, and it really has normal instrument separation, so you will hear all the nuances, and thanks to is, is, uh, to normal weight of me, all instruments have their bodies and they sound really natural. And treble, it was uh, probably the only flow, flow in XD05, and actually it's still the only flow in XD10. It's uh, normal for this price range, but if it, if uh, treble would be a bit better, you know, I could say that uh, it sounds much better than its uh, price, but uh, it uh, doesn't happen. So, but uh, still, treble is normal. It has normal resolution, pretty, pretty good attacks and decays, but almost zero layering, and it's lacking some extension in treble area. And it, uh, it's lacking, uh, you know, def some definition in the treble area and probably a bit sense of realism. It's a bit simplified. Uh, it's okay when you listen to some styles like, you know, some heavy metal, I don't, I don't know, some pop music, electronic music, but if you want to listen to some classical music, especially some chamber music or some female vocals, you will definitely notice this uh, bit lacking uh, realism, but it, I think it's uh, pretty acceptable, you know, because you to get a be better sound here, you have to pay noticeably 
more. And as an, as an illustration I prepared one of my favorite tracks. You know, I really like this uh, duet, uh, I probably won't pronounce the name of these musicians correctly, so I'm sorry. It's uh, Pat uh, Messini, Messini and Lyle Mays. Pretty famous uh, album as Falls uh, Wichita, so Falls Wichita Falls. It's uh, an example of modern and unusual jazz music, it's uh, full of percussion and uh, uh, you can select uh, almost every track from this album, but I selected September 15th uh, and it's full of percussion and uh, it's an illustration of treble. So it's uh, with uh, XD10, it's normal, not superb, but normal and uh, pretty good, with nice resolution at least and it, I think it's not bad actually. So to summarize. It's sounding really good, it could sound much better, but it didn't happen, but it still sounds really good, it has enough driving power, it's stylish, it's not expensive, so definitely very interesting device, especially if you have some Sony player to pair, because with Sony it uh, stacks nicely, but with any other dub I think it all it also really good uh, uh, pairing, and if you want some combo and you're okay with making sandwich of two devices, it's your chance to get really nice sound. Actually speaking about some comparisons, I can recall single, uh, only one model that I've reviewed recently and it is uh, Heidi's uh, DH1000. And actually it's quite an opposite, opposite to this model, because DH1000 has perfect treble, and nice resolving monitoring meets but less uh, weight on mids and lows, so it's like this one is weighty and engaging, while DH1000 is more audiophiliac, more resolving, more natural, so it's, you can select whatever uh, representation you'd like. Thank you for attention.